What's up, Virgo, and welcome to my channel. I hope all of my beautiful Virgos out there are doing well. So, Virgo, we're going to start off with the I Am Thankful deck, okay? We're going to see what things you guys should be thankful for. So, if anything resonates for you, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, comment. Let Blue Flame know what's going on. If you're interested in a personal, check out the description box for my email. But also, check out my community tab to see what type of readings that I offer, okay, you guys? All right, so let's go ahead and get into this reading. Messages for my Virgos. Okay, so the first thing we have here, I am thankful for understanding that I am not the only person that goes through something, okay? So sometimes, you know, when we go through things because other people may not express the bad times, like when you look on social media and you look at pictures and stuff, you know, people always make it seem like they're happy all the time. But we know people ain't happy all the time because life is up and down. You know, you had good times, but you had bad times. So I feel like, some of you guys may have come across someone that you can, like, relate to. And it's like this person opening up and letting you know the things that they've gone through. Like, it helps you to understand, like, man, I ain't the only person that go through something. You know what I'm saying? It makes you feel better that you're not alone. Then we also have perseverance, okay? A lot of you guys, you're able to persevere. You've been through a lot in your life and it's like no matter what you've always been able to persevere through it now sometimes it may have been a little rough you know what i'm saying you didn't think sometimes you was gonna make it through but it's like no matter what you were able to persevere through it all okay so let's get a couple more messages here and we're gonna go ahead and get into this reading any more messages from my brother and what they should be thankful for all right then we have my child or my children okay so you guys, you know, sometimes my kids can be a pain in the butt, but it's like, you know, be thankful because your children are a blessings, okay? And, and everyone is not able, you know, to be able to have kids here, okay? So if you have children here, if you got one child, more than one child, you know, be thankful for the kids that you have, okay? All right, so let's pull some messages through music, you guys. If anything resonate, go ahead and like this video. Messages for my Virgo video. Let's get some messages through music. Oh, shit, we got cards already. All right, Virgo. Hold on, let me shuffle this again, because these just came out. Now, if they come out again, hey, right, we're going to take it. Messages for my Virgo spirit. Let me shuffle real good. What messages through music do you have for my Virgo spirit? Messages through music? All right. So, Virgo, we have... This came out again. Golly. Okay. We're going to take it. So we have Faith Evans. You used to love me. Okay, so in this song she goes, I remember the way you used to love me. So some of you guys, someone here is reminiscing or thinking about the way that you used to love them, okay? So Virgo, this could be your energy. Maybe you're thinking about the way someone used to love you, you know what I'm saying, the way they used to put it down, or this is how someone is thinking about you guys, okay? And then we have Do You With Me, okay? Some of you could be dealing with the Capricorn, because these same two songs here came out in the Capricorn reading, okay? So someone here is wondering, Virgo, do you think about them the same way that they think about you, okay? So you're heavily on someone's mind here, and I feel like this person's wondering, you know, just the way that you're on their mind, are they on your mind as well? But some of you guys, whoever this is that you're reminiscing about the way that they used to love you or vice versa, okay? Some of you guys, you was like, my, you had to go and move on from this person, okay? So with something this person, maybe they didn't give you enough, you know, or it was something lacking in this situation. But for whatever reason, you chose to move on or you will be moving on from this person here, okay? All right, so let's get, let's see, where we going to get? Message. <laughs> All right, so let's pull over here. Let's see what happened in this situation for you guys, okay? So, Spirit, give us some messages for my Virgos. Tell me what happened in this connection with this person that's remembering, uh, reminiscing about the way Virgo used to love them. Messages for my Virgos, Spirit. All right, what messages do you have for my Virgos? Tell us some more about this situation. Messages for my Virgo spirit. I'm trying to show up for real good, y'all. I just used this thing big earlier. All right. Messages for my Virgo spirit. Tell us more about the situation for my Virgos. All right. So, Virgo, we have, I don't want to give you what you deserve. Okay, so, Virgo, you may have had to move on. 
from this person because you feel like this person was holding back. Like you knew you deserved, you know what I'm saying, more conversation, more time, more affection from this person. But at this time, this person did not want to give you whatever it was that you felt that you deserved here, okay? Then we have Pisces. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Pisces here, okay? Then we have, you're the first to say that, okay? So it could have been something that you told someone here, and maybe they weren't used to it. You know, you somebody different, Virgo. And it was like, you was the first to tell someone that, like, they had never heard that whatever it was that you told. Like, maybe you was the first to tell them, like, you a little toxic, or you a little stubborn, or you a little this and that. You know, and I was like, well, damn, ain't nobody else never told me that before. All right, give me some more messages for my Virgo spirit. Messages for my Virgo spirit. Tell us more about this situation here. All right, so Virgo, this person wants you to know that they know that they messed up everything, okay? So whatever happened in this connection, this person wants you to know that they messed up everything. All right, ooh, Virgo. Then we got there's a baby on the way, okay? For some of you guys, maybe you had to move on from a person because they could have gotten someone else pregnant here, okay? And maybe this was something that you were not aware of. But this person saying, Virgo, even though they know that they messed up everything, they don't want you to give up on them, and they don't want you to give up on this connection, okay? For some of you guys, maybe you had to move on from this person because you found out that this person was married with children, okay? So this person could have came to you like they were single, but the whole time they had a whole nother wife or a whole nother husband, okay, behind the scenes. And then we have, oh my, okay, so the karma knows about you, okay? So Virgo, if you're dealing with someone here that you know is married or in some type of long-term committed relationship or, or whatever, this person saying that this karma knows about you, okay? So they could have caught this person talking to you, you know what I'm saying, messaging you. Maybe they don't went through this person's phone, but this person does know about you. Give me a couple more messages before we close out this reading. For some of you, this person needed to be in control, okay? So maybe them not calling you back, them not messaging you back, them whatever they didn't do, that was their way of controlling. It was like they wanted to kind of leave you in this stuck energy or not you know, kind of clinging to them and not being able to let go because they left you in this question mark. Like, you didn't understand why they didn't call you back, text you back. But that was their way of controlling this situation, okay? So you could be dealing with someone here who has a big ego, okay? Let's get one more message for you. We close this reading. Some of you guys, we have Taurus here, so you can be dealing with a Taurus. And this person just wants to let you know that they get turned on just by talking to you, okay? So this could be your energy, Virgo, or this can be this person's energy. Let's see what signs you're dealing with. All right, Virgo, we got Sag, Virgo, Aries, and Taurus, you guys. I love you. Stay blessed.